What is going on YouTube? Thanks for watching the channel. This video is going to show you how to install an ND filter on the Hubs and Xeno camera. Let's get started. Enjoy. So last year I got into flying drones in the middle of the spring and I bought a Hubzin 501S and it came with this little tiny SND filter and I figured hey let me give that a try on my Hubzin Xeno and maybe it fit this little camera right here. Well let's see if it does and see if it works. So let's get get started and show you what I did so first of all I went to banggood.com and found this filter that fits the Hubzin H501S and it's four dollars and 31 cents I ordered it two months ago and just now received it yeah slow boat from China unfortunately it took two months to get it so here it is, and let's see if it fits this little guy over here, the Zeno. All right, and it came in this little package, and uh, let me see if I can get it out and show it to you guys. I mean, it, it was packed in this little plastic bag, and. Um, <clears throat> I am going to show it to you right now what it looks like and it might not work because of the size but here it is right here okay and it's got this sticker in the back you can see it right there and I'm going to peel that sticker off and put it on the, uh, the camera right there and see if it works you never know until you try, right? It might be a big time fail. I don't know. Let's give it a go. Let's see if it works. And if it works, it'll be, I'll be so happy. Um, I'm not sure what ND filter it is, but um, <laughs> they don't even tell you what, if it's a four or six or anything, you know? Uh, let me check the website again. See what it says. Let's scoot it over. Oh, Paxic please one in the lens filter. It doesn't tell you what it is. Hmm. So interesting. Well, there you have it. Not much information. Classic uh, Chinese products, right? I can remember when I was really young, my parents complaining about Japanese products. Now I'm a dad and complaining about Chinese products. Okay, <clears throat> don't know what in the strength it is, but there it is. So let's rock and roll. Let's get started and see what happened. Okay, so now we're gonna peel this off and put it on the camera. To get a better shot for you guys. Yeah.
Okay, it's on there. And you can see that uh, it fits right on there pretty well. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but you can see it right there. See it? Yeah. Let's see if I can get the camera a little closer. Yeah, so it looks pretty good right there. So let me go ahead and get my phone started. Um, get the controller, get this thing turned on, and I'll show you what it looks like, okay? Okay, here we are on the left. It looks nice and sharp without the ND filter. And to the right, oh wow, look at that flash of yellow again. To the right is dull and blue, but Oh, I'd have to take it out in the field and test it. Yeah, give it a nice flight over the river where I normally go and see what it looks like. This video is about the Hubson Zeno firmware upgrade to 1.150 and also putting an ND filter on this circular camera of the Zeno. All right, let's jump into the video. Let's see how stable it's staying. You can see it is drifting a little bit. Okay, I'm going to spin the, the Zeno around. And I am now going to reveal how many people are actually here. It's actually a windy day also. You can see the Zeno getting pushed around. Lower it a little bit. Then I am going to do a manual reveal. I'm just going to let it rip. There we go. Keeping it steady. Letting it rip as fast as I can. Wow. Look at all the people, right? Some bathing, hanging out in hammocks, and the Xeno is taking off. My dis display looks horrible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, it's all blue and blurry. Zeno seems to be flying quite well. Uh, I actually see some kind of funky stuff going on in the corners of the video. I'm not sure if it's my phone or the, the display or the camera itself. I suspect it's the camera. Yeah. And now I'm in Greenland, the city. And it seems like the sky's all washed out. I'm going to let her rip over across the river now we're going across this little dike dam that the dominion power headquarters area or shall we say the dam area and now i'm going to go over the, the bank here and uh, this is actually getting across the railroad tracks revealing the tracks and uh, that's a pretty view and now we're going to reveal Hollywood Cemetery along with Hollywood Rapids on the river. All right, that was pretty decent fly. Now let me just roll to the left. Set it about 900 feet away. And I am just going to go ahead and start moving forward. And just to kind of give you guys an idea of uh, the Hollywood cemetery here is a famous cemetery from the confederate cemetery uh, confederate soldiers are buried here a bunch of the grants are buried here and they have a really nice pretty mausoleum that we're coming up on right now uh, again moving pretty fast and i'm rocking over the tracks we're 
feeling as much as I can of the city. Again, the video does not look very good on my display. I'm pretty sure it's not going to come out very good. It looks like it's got some kind of fog, hazy, smoky. Hard to describe. A lot of people around me here. A lot of chatter going on. People just laying around. All sorts of smells are going on around here too. <laughs> kind of remind me of college if you know what I mean. And these two buildings here are Dominion Power. So the power company in Virginia. Cherry blossom trees are looking really nice here right below me. Yeah, very sweet, very cool figures from up high. And those bird's eye view looks so nice, right? Uh, next, next to the road on the right, there's a, actually a walking path, bike path. And of course, I am now looking at cemetery, Hollywood Cemetery. Very pretty place to drive through. Highly recommended if you're in the Richmond area to walk it or drive it, bike it. You could even skate it. Skateboard or inline skates. Again, not going to reveal the city. You can see the path next to the railroad tracks there on the left of the tracks. And there's the city. Okay, I am going to slide right and kind of follow this bridge. Historically, when I fly from this location, I get a lot of interference. Oh, here's that little red flash on the camera. Yeah, I wish I would stop doing that and ruin shots. It doesn't look that bad on my display looking at the sun. But looking the other way, it looks pretty bad. Oh, yeah, so I think I see a couple. Oh, just one raft moving down the river. Oh, I'm miss it. And here we are. The end of the test.
Yeah, so uh, today's flight was a failure and um, here I am. I'm going to be removing the ND filter. And to remove the ND filter, I've used a paper towel. I got it wet. I stuck it in a microwave for about 90 seconds. Um, well, it's just a quarter of a tiny piece of a microwave. And then I'm using uh, the forceps here to um, hold this on and burn my hands. And I am heating up that ND filter that was glued onto the round camera of the Hubs and Zeno. And uh, yeah, today was not a good day for uh, for the ND filter. My flyer was pretty good flying today. It's just uh, the video looked uh, really washed out and it changed the colors to a blue color. And yeah, let me try to pull this thing off here. It's really stuck on hard. There we go, almost. Yeah, there we go. Yes, got it. Yeah, so let me show you what it looks like. Uh, here's what it looks like. Uh, flip it off. And now it's time to clean up the lens. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just use a uh, one of those soft cloths that you get with your glasses when you go to the optometrist and, and just uh, Again, heat up the, the paper towel and then uh, just wipe it clean. I'm not going to use any kind of uh, solvents or anything like that. But yeah, here's the failed ND filter. Uh, it didn't work out so well. So here, take a look, see what you guys think. Yeah, there's the color. Uh, yeah. So we tried. I tried using a Hubs and S uh, stick-on filter. Didn't work, and here we are cleaning. Yeah, more cleaning. And that glue is kind of sticky glue. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, you found it valuable. Consider hitting the thumbs up button. And if you like the content, I'd love for you guys to support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a great day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, at least the cameras uh, survived. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. Uh, the ND filter. Yeah, it's a fail. Eh. So, if you guys are planning to do this, don't. It doesn't work. It doesn't look very well, as you guys can see from the video I posted. Alright, bye-bye guys.